What's up guys, Relidan here, going to bring you a quick video on how to improve your uh, Twitch TV load times on videos and streams, as well as YouTube video loads and streams. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to create uh, an outbound, or an inbound rule rather, to your Windows firewall. This can also be placed onto your router um, to cover your wireless devices such as your phone, tablet, etc. So let's get right to it. Uh, if you have Windows 7, you can go to your uh, start bar, click on your start button, we'll go to the search, and you can just type in firewall, and we're going to choose our Windows firewall with advanced security, and this is going to bring up our advanced settings under our Windows firewall. Uh, if you don't have the search bar, you can also go to control panel. I have my view under large icons and you just click Windows Firewall and Advanced Settings. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, click on Inbound Rules and we're going to create a new rule. Alright, the rule type is going to be a custom rule. It's going to encompass all programs and you want to leave the protocol type as any. And we're going to be customizing a rule for remote IP addresses because we're going to be putting in specific IP addresses uh, that direct us towards YouTube and Twitch TV. And once we block these, we're, uh, the computer is then going to have to use an alternate set of IP addresses assigned to YouTube and Twitch, uh, which I would assume are less bogged down by users. Uh, thus enabling us to increase our speed uh, with loading times and whatnot. So let's go under these IP addresses because we don't want to do any. That would block us from everything. Click Add and we're going to create an IP uh, range or click on IP range. So there's two sets of IP addresses that we need to block. And This is just a little notepad to help me out here. Okay, so our first set is going to be 173.194.55.0. And this, of course, is going to be in the description. You can copy and paste. And we're going to start at 173.194.55.0. And we're going to end at 173.194.55.255. Okay, so we're going from the beginning of the IP address range uh, to the end. Okay, so there's one, and our second one is going to be 206.111.0.0, and our end range is 206.111.255, too many fives, .255, and press OK. So your list should look like this, and if you make a mistake or an error, and you create the rule and you realize that you made a mistake, you can always go back and edit. I'll show you that in just a second. So we'll click Next. And instead of allowing the connection, which our computer is already doing, we want to block the connection. And this rule is going to apply, apply on all uh, public, private, and domain networks, depending on what you are. Um, if you want to you know, do this at work and you're on a work domain, if you have the ability to add firewall rules, you can do so. Typically, the private network is what everybody is going to be under. That's your home and work network. And then public, hopefully you're not on a public network. Um, but anyways, we'll continue on and we'll create a name for this rule. So we'll just type in YouTube slash Twitch rule and increase stream load speed. You can put whatever you want, you don't have to put that there. That's just letting me know uh, what that rule is in case I come back, you know, a while down the road and look at this rule and see what it is. So then now we'll click finish. It should populate at the top and it's got a little uh, red mark through at the moment and that's fine. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, so say you make a mistake, 
and you don't want to recreate the entire rule, you can just go back to your rule, double click, or I think you can go here to properties. And uh, what you're going to do is under general tab, you can edit the name and or description. Choose whether it's enabled or not. Change the action. And if you need to change the IP address range, you'll go to scope. And down here, you can click on either range and edit. And it'll bring up that same window and you can then edit the IP address. All right, so now that that's done, all you have to do is close out of this and start your browser and you're ready to go. You should see an increase in your speed dramatically. Um, I have a 100 megabit uh, down connection and before I did this fix I could not load any videos whatsoever. It would just sit on loading. Um, sometimes I would get the ad, sometimes I wouldn't, but the video would never load. Uh, now that I've done this fix, streams and videos on Twitch load instantly and YouTube videos buffer immediately. All right, thanks guys. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, any questions that you may have, and subscribe for more. Thank you.